waka. If you want to give your heart and life to God and Jesus, call CBN at 1 800 775 9413. Tell them you'd like to say the sinner's prayer and they'll say it along with you. <clears throat> they usually ask this after sermons, after church, if you would come like to come up to the altar and give your heart and life to God and Jesus, call CBN 1 800 775 9413. It's a real prayer line if you need prayers. They're pretty awesome. Uh, they also have a new, a new a book called A New Day. Once you say the sinner's prayer, it has questions and answers about coming to know Father God and Jesus. Um, what is the baptism in the Holy Spirit? Ephesians 5 verse 18. Do not do not get drunk on wine, which leads to debauchery. Instead, be filled with the Spirit. Luke 3, verse 16, John answered them, I baptize you with water, but one more powerful than I will come. The thongs of whose sandals I am not worthy to untie. He will baptize you with the Holy Spirit and with fire. So you don't only get the baptism of the Holy Spirit, but it's fire, and this fire moves, and it he... It's God, it's Jesus, it's the Holy Spirit, and it just, like, you you feel the need to tell people about Father God and Jesus, and it's not you, it's, it's pretty, <laughs> it's pretty amazing. And then he'll, he'll start saying, like, you know, somebody needs healing on their, and I'll give you different things on what they need healing on, and. It's pretty amazing when Holy Spirit and fire move and then when people who are anointed by God and Jesus, when they talk about Father God and Jesus too, you can feel the Holy Presence. You can feel the presence of Father God and Jesus instead of the person, but they're so filled with like maybe Psalm 23. Um, I just remember being in his his awesome presence and instead of hearing that person speak you could just feel the holy spirit and it was so anointed and it just stays with you and it's just pretty amazing Alrighty. <laughs> anyways it's so peaceful today it's so oh, i don't like the weekends fridays saturdays um because you can really feel like sin and darkness and I don't know what it is, but it doesn't feel right on the weekend. Sometimes it feels so weak. <laughs> I don't, there's no way to explain that. So, again, I didn't know about Father God and Jesus returning until about seven years ago. Jesus returned and I got left behind. But praise God, he, he, um, saved me. Again, it was by a Facebook share and I clicked on it and read it was a testimony, two-page testimony, Abraham Ipley George's testimony about coming to know Father God and Jesus through his, what happened to him. And Jesus brought him back. And praise God, he has a pretty amazing testimony. Uh, he has a book uh, the Celestial Traveler by Glenn Herman. That book is out, and it's pretty affordable. It's an amazing testimony. Um, again, call CBN 1 800 775 9413. Tell them you want to say the sinner's prayer, and they'll say it along with you. Oh, you could just tell oh, it's just so peaceful today. It's so, I don't know. I just. downpouring out there it's just <laughs> it's so peaceful today I don't know what it is it's and just the presence of Father God and Jesus and the Holy Spirit and just so calming like God is here God is so good um, that's what this guy usually follows us God is so good I was one of the God is so good to me. <laughs> uh, 
Oh, just so awesome. So peaceful today, too. So good. Alrighty, hopefully you guys are having a good day. I can tell people about your testimony, about how you came to know Father God and Jesus. Um, so God did not only die on, or Jesus did not only die on the cross for your sins, but he died on the cross for even those people that hate you, so do good to those that hate you. Um, it's just the enemy trying to steal you away from Father God and Jesus. You don't, you don't hate him back. You don't be whatever you... You pray for them that they come out of that too, amen. Um, again, some of those aren't people even what they say out there, but sometimes it's not them. It's the enemy trying to cause trouble. So in one of my weird encounters is where I was given, I think it was in 2016, I remember I was I was I was nursing my baby and I felt something come up on up on the bed and I thought it was my baby. I turned around, I kind of knelt back and I thought it was Abby and I was like I felt the bed go down. You know how it just <laughs> when somebody else sits down, there's that thing and and I turned around and. I could feel this presence of something else. I thought it was my daughter. She was sleeping in her own little bed and this nasty thing spoke. He's saying, don't focus on the bed, don't. Do it. You don't need to talk about that, that's fine. But this thing that changed its voice and it, it was the enemy. But that's their thing. They can change their voices and sound like other people sometimes. I don't know. There's no way to describe that. Word. Ugh. Anyways. Thank God for prayer warriors that came over to the house. They prayed over it and that thing left. It went <laughs> Half the way it left. Uh. I don't know what he was saying. Don't, don't focus on the bad. Focus on the good. Focus on Jesus. Like when he comes back, there'll be all kinds of things happening and going on. You focus on Father God and Jesus only. Um, I don't know how he makes a way when there seems to be no way. How he takes care of everything when there... It seems like, you know, how am I going to make it? How is this going to happen? How is that going to happen? No, you trust and follow him. Even like it's done pouring in you today, it's going to be a good blessed day. Amen? <laughs> You'll be thankful for the rain because then they produce really huge, juicy berries when it's raining. Some people try to complain, but I'm like, yes, the baby berries, when we go and pick them, are going to be super juicy. <laughs> I'm <laughs> filled with so much. He's watering his plants, you know, you go water your plants. It's just uh, pretty awesome, pretty amazing. Some of my best days have been kind of like every time I think about kind of fishing. I think about fishing in the rain, doing silly things in the rain. When I was younger, I used to always ride my bike through the puddles. That was the funnest thing ever. In this huge pile of mud or whatever, I'd get splashed on. And I'd just go change and kind of do it again sometimes. Just go through the puddles. Find the deepest one to go through and sometimes go through the middle and that thing is just... <laughs> I just laugh. I don't know. Anyway. You know, just again, some people. I don't know why you complain about that. When people are praying for rain, praying for water, praying for stuff. They just want, you know, clean water, and here you have clean water. And then 
That's what the Bible and the word is. It's, it's water. It's refreshing to your soul. Let the living water come over my soul. Let the Holy Spirit come and take control of every situation that has troubled my mind. He's so good. God is so good, Damon. So... If you're worried about anything, you hand it to God. God already has made a way. And it's just pretty amazing. Amen. Alrighty. I hope you guys are having a good day. It's kind of going on long. Talk to you guys later. Okay, bye.